But we know that always when we think about this type of challenges, this type of problems in research and development, and as we are passing to several climate change issues also, then we have our talented scholars with us, and we look forward to you because you are the persons who will have new innovations, new ideas, and new researches. And in next weeks, we are planning to organize several other webinars also on the topics of or different topics of your interest. So you are welcome. You can also write to us that the topics which you think should be discussed should be developed in our digital platform. Because maybe that in next six months or so, we will have to organize workshops, seminars, all in this virtual platform. So we will try to develop it. Perhaps you also understand that higher education is also at a new time when we have to develop virtual platform, virtual uh, digital uh, processes, digital technologies, so that we can all access this education. So we have with us a very renowned virologist, Professor Dhubajyoti Chattopadhyay today. Perhaps you know that Professor Dhubajyoti Chattopadhyay is a very famous scientist of international repute. And he has uh, led a group of research scholars, research scientists, we are all working with virus and virus researches. So today it will be the best thing to listen to us from him. He was definitely, he had several administrative positions. He was the Pro Vice Chancellor Academic of Calcutta University. He was the Vice Chancellor of Amity University. And presently he is the Vice Chancellor of Sister Nivedita University. But above all, I have always seen that he's a legendary teacher. He's a very good teacher, and he's a good scientist. And moreover, he's very much passionate about our JBNSTS. And whenever I call Dhubodha Professor Chattopadhyay, I invite him to interact with our scholars. He's always enthusiastic. So today, let us concentrate to his discussion, his lecture. Thank you, Dhubodha. Thank you for gracing this program. Uh, let us listen to Professor. Thank you, Professor Bhattacharya. Uh, good morning to all the JBNST scholars and other members who are present in this webinar. This is indeed a, a situation where we are going to a test. I call it as a test. Corona. Corona test is actually um, have to go back to understand a lot of things which we need practice, which we actually forgot to practice. And this actually tells us that what we have to do in the next future years. So Obhijit, may I request you to go to the presentation, please? And uh, in the meantime, uh, I must congratulate JBA in this case because of giving me this opportunity to this budding young uh, scholars to share my views regarding the corona. So if you look at this first um, uh, slide here, I just want to say that the corona is not something which is completely new to us. The epidemics, the pandemics, there are a lot of epidemics and pandemics in the world and there are a lot of actually books written on that, novels written on that. So I can show you this. These are the different books already the market regarding the virus, regarding uh, dreaded flu, regarding the pandemics, regarding the rest, regarding the fatal fever, to the Zika, to the Ebola, and all different things. So the next slide, I just want that what's going to be my topic. When I discussed it with uh, um, uh, Dr. Bhattacharya, and Dr. Varit wanted to get some idea about from the scholars. He said, why not you give the COVID-19 invasion as your topic? My topic is going to be the COVID-19 invasion. 
And I also uh, like to congratulate Ubijit for asking, uh, getting the questions from all the scholars, which helped me to prepare this particular slides, this PowerPoint presentation. So mainly based on the questions which you have asked and which you have forwarded to JBNSPS, I shall try to go to that with the basic idea about this virus. So next slide, I shall just mention about that this next slide, please. So over here, you can see that this whole history of pandemics are given. As I mentioned to you, it's there for a long, long period of time. And you can see from every time there are huge number of deaths normally happen in the civilization. It challenges the civilization. It gives warnings to the civilization. <laughs> yes, but how much we get prepared with that. So it gives us an idea that we have, we are really, we are doing a lot of science, a lot of technology, a lot of things, but a tiny virus particle, which is sub-microscopic, without electron microscopy, cannot see it. And that actually giving us such a big challenge. Right now, the globe is actually in this particular virus. Next slide. Next slide about this uh, timeline of the virus, the number of deaths, what we used to find it out from the different time forward. And then we could see that this actually, the latest one is the HIV AIDS, which is there, which kills a large number of people from 1981 to present days. It's there, it challenged, but till date we do not have any very, very that's it. This is a, a vaccine against it. So there are a number of researches going on. Some other things can but we still are fighting with AIDS with a proper medication. And here lies the whole challenge before us. From the third plague to the Antony plague, 17th century plague, from the Yolo fever to the Ebola which is there from 2014 to 2016, the month, which is there 2012 to present also. And the future outbreak takes place at 2002 to 2003. It is very difficult right now. Even the WHO officially declared that it is hard to calculate and forecast the impact of COVID-19 because the disease is new to medicine and the data is still coming in. Next, I talk to you about this outbreak timeline, which is there in the literature. Okay, so if you look at December 31, is a one the China information WHO of patients with a mysterious new and second January, uh, January 1st, the Hunan seafood wholesale market actually identified the patient and the coronavirus identified. The strain is named as novel coronavirus on Jan January 7th. And the first COVID-19 death took place on January 11th. Now, years, the global public health emergency in January 20. And this is India also did its first in Kerala. January 3rd, Wuhan placed under quarantine. January 3rd. Uh, then we could see that the first corona outside of China, January 13. And then continuously we could see the whole February month at different <laughs> Italy to Iran and mainly to the right. Italy, March 10th is the one where a huge number of infected patients. And we will go uh, in uh, March 27. <laughs> And then, we see that what and then what we could find out all is completely locked down. And the numbers, next please, the numbers, let's keep drawing. So this slide, please. This slide. Okay. Yeah, next. Now, uh, next one. So, 
हेलो अभिजीत नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट स्लाइड या सो when i just mentioned this bad i actually want to concentrate on you that if you look at the scenario at this this particular red zones which shows the concert cases in the whole global map there are large number of regions which are absolutely there is you can see a large area of africa area of the south east asia you can see that in australia also the cases are not so high but on the other hand all the european from the uh, italy france germany as well as uk are suffering hugely from this now the russia again coming joined us and then you can see the us the north america is completely under corona next slide please and the incidence rate when we see the daily cases of incidence are going on but almost flat in this part of the world except in india it is still going on in russia it's still going on so there is the major challenges also to understand what is actually there in the next one and then what we could see that next slide please next slide yes so this is a timeline of the corona all right and when we looked at this timeline of the corona then we could see that this is going on with time and time and time again and this actually gives us a major challenge that this is a paper from the lancet where you see from the number of these to the number of places what we could see the whole from the infection strategy now this infection strategy says that seventh day people started giving the hospital ad admission then the shortness of breath then the respiratory disorders and then the intensive care unit after the 10th day and that is how the symptoms actually goes on including the fever in most of the cases and myalgia fatigue and other if we look at i about where we are standing the next slide next slide obijit next slide in the next slide you can see that this covid 19 is actually the corona virus which is becoming very very important for study and to get this and it affects there are primary symptoms is fever runny nose dry cough shortness of breath fatic and body air and so you can see the general but along with it if we find that it is possible to show that there are some sort of diarrhea also is developing in certain cases it's also in certain cases you can find out that the kidney is actually malfunctioning and this is going on and the transmission is actually spread from person to person through the squeezing and coughing the respiratory droplets containing the virus can remain on surface after the ill person is no longer near next slide next slide so in general then uh, what this is actually giving you some idea about the common symptoms what we could see in the covid-19 depression but majority of the patients remain asymptomatic you don't understand that who are actually the person is actually being suffering from corona or not so now what i want to say this virus particles they could enter to the open areas the nostrils the mouth and because this too has got the layers where the virus can actually get associated with it and act the temperature which is similar to that of the open space so it has got a similarity of the temperature with the outside temperature and this temperature when it is between 34 to 26 it is the best for the virus to start replication and once the virus goes into over there it starts going into our the our upper respiratory tract and you can see that in the common symptoms 
in all the cases is 83 to 99 percent the fever whereas this particular cough is between 59 to 82 percent shortness of breath is actually 31 to 40 percent and cupping up sputum is 28 to 33 percent and muscle x and p 11 to 35 percent so this is actually how we can see in severe diseases they have difficulty in waking confusion Lewis face coughing up blood persistent chest pain decreased white blood cells kidney failure and high fever next next and so based on this particular features clinical features it is possible to actually plot the severity of illness from the stage one to the stage two to the stage three so we can say the stage one is an early infection phase and the stage two as a pulmonary phase and in the stage three it is a hyperinflation phase where actually you can see the actual outcome of the whole thing next slide please and this is very well reflected in these slides. You can see the alveoli. The alveoli in this first phase, how it looks like. After the infection, you can see the drops over there. And then in this, you can see the field of fluids. And this field of fluids actually started to give rise to the inflammatory responses. And you can see the severity of the symptoms. And ultimately, it filled up the whole alveoli. And that's why where, where, when there is a starting of, there is a gap between the exchange of oxygen with this. And then ultimately, it completely shuts off. And that gives rise to the complete oxygen. You cannot get any exchange of this everything gets accumulated it cannot come out next slide next slide Objit, next slide please so the organs affected as i mentioned to you the major is actually the lungs then it's actually the heart and the blood vessels then brain which gives rise to confusions the eyes then you can see that there are the other organs started to be affected from liver, kidney to intestine. So all these things are ultimately gets affected. And that's why people are talking about right now the asymptomatic patients who are actually we could not find any symptoms, but we don't know actually the slow release of viruses within this and slow growth of viruses within the asymptomatic patients how it is affecting our other organs. That is the point of research. Next. Next slide. So, severe COVID-19 cases and the indicated chronic diseases been shown in this slides where I just mentioned to you about the, its effect on the different organs. And here, actually, I want to mention that this particular expression of the ACE2, that is a receptor for the virus, this receptor is actually invites the virus to get associated with the cells and virus gets attached with it. And then there is a fusion between the membranes takes place and then the virus enters. So this is actually the one of the major first step in the virus infection when it gets inside the cell and start replication. Next slide. Next slide, please. So regarding the virus, if I just mentioned to you the coronaviridae, sub, uh, sub of the orthocoronaviridae, they have enveloped genome, that is the RNA, single-stranded RNA is completely surrounded with a protein and it's positive sense single stranded RNA. When I said positive sense single stranded RNA, it is actually of the sense of messenger RNA. You know, the messenger RNA gets translated into protein. And positive sense RNA, which also causes a lot of different types of diseases, uh, like the AIDS, like the polio, all these are positive sense RNA molecules. But influenza is a negative sense RNA molecule. They have the characteristics club shaped spikes on the surface appearing like crown and this is actually the reason why why the name was given coronavirus which causes the cold and pneumonia which are generally mild but some cases it gets into the severe diseases next and then actually we can go to further 
the discovery of coronavirus. And I, I know that many of you may not know, but I also came to know about it from a recent article written by Professor P. Balera, that the first person to isolate this coronavirus, the slide please, slide please, no, uh, the slide before slide, the one slide before, yes. The first person to isolate the strain of coronavirus called 2E was Dorothy Hamre a virologist and infectious disease researcher at the University of Chicago Department of Medicine in 1966. And John Almeida, working at Britain's Common Cold Research Unit in Salisbury, produced the first image of the virus, the electromicroscopic image of the virus. So in 1966, the virus, the coronavirus being identified. Next. Next slide, please. So this is just like the taxonomy. I shall not go through it. But the coronavirus itself is classified into different categories, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And the one which is causing this havoc is nothing but the beta coronavirus. So beta coronavirus means soil source COVID, MERS COVID. Next. 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 Yes. And the mode of transmission of the coronavirus, actually it was found, it's also very interesting that it is actually what we could find in the um, bats itself. And in the bats, you can see from the bats, it can go to the different birds or to the mice. And then it can also go to the cattle, the camels, the uh, dogs and others. And then from there actually, it could be cross transmitted to human. But this coronavirus too, which is being identified for the SARS CoV-2 uh, coronavirus 2, was found that the sequence analogy says that the bad virus and the human virus are not very so called as the pangolins, but that is not yet we are sure. Now, this particular SARS CoV-2 -CoV and the MERS CoV-2 there are, it is found that a huge amount of things are there. Next, please. Next one. So this is actually how it looks like. It looks like a flower. And you can see on the surface, the lipid bilayer, the spikes, proteins are coming out. And inside the nucleocapsid, which is actually the negative stranded, uh, the positive stranded RNA molecule surrounded with protein molecules. Next slide. Now, the timeline for the emergence of this coronaviruses, as I mentioned to you, that there is a, uh, already I mentioned to you how actually we could see the different emergence and surge COVID, uh, which we call as a COVID-1, but that existed for only one year. And after that, it was from the camel, it gets a MERS COVID, which was there for a longer period of time. Next one. And this actually shows how actually we could find out the Wuhan coronavirus. The Wuhan coronavirus, how it compares with the Middle East syndromes with the SARS-1 and the common co uh, cold caused by the other coronaviruses. You can see there are a lot of similarity between the symptoms, but in this search Wuhan coronavirus, it, has, it actually has a huge amount of its effect on the respiratory tract in a very big way with other organs. Next. Next one, please. And uh, this is a little bit of uh, things I just wanted to mention that this particular uh, genome, which actually gets transcribed into the cell after this endosomes are being involved in capturing the virus, fusion takes place and the RNA is being released. And there is actually the endosomal acidic pH, which plays a very important role. Now we are talking about the hydroxychloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine is the one which actually increases the pH of the endosome. Now if the pH goes up, that actually is one of the drug for malaria, where a huge amount of this uh, malaria could be activities. And here also what we could see that people thought that this hydroxychloroquine actually because it also uh, act on the endosome, this can inhibit this particular coronavirus replication or the release of coronavirus into the cell system. 
But you know that this hydroxychloroquine has several other effects, side effects on the septum. So randomly, it should not be used. Only it should be used in the people who are actually directly in contact with the patient, directly in contact with, so that means the warriors, the COVID warriors, as a protection, prevention, it could be, it's not a medicine, it just prevents it in a little bit way. And this is actually what, actually look at the RNA, and this, there are two open reading frames, and these two open reading frames synthesize the different messenger RNA also to give us to different types of proteins. Next. Uh, next one, next one, please. So this particular virus, when it gets attached with the AC2 receptor on the cell surface, and it was found the number of AC2 receptors are quite high, uh, in uh, particularly the lungs, um, uh, border tissue, border cells, and there, that means uh, if it once it reaches the lungs, uh, that because of the large number of AC2 receptor on the lungs, it will affect quite a bit. Now, if there is an interesting study, a couple of days back, it has been expressed that this particular AC2 went on another gene called AC1. And if the AC1 expression is higher, then AC2 expression goes down. And it was found that in the African population, uh, there is a majority of the people who has got this AC1 expression quite high. So if you look at the map, they are in large, large area of Africa. They are still not affected because they are the most vulnerable ones. In case of AIDS, we have seen what happens to them, and they are not affected by the coronavirus. Their AC1 is quite high. Similarly, when we are talking about the people who has got less number of AC2, and in general, people are talking about right now, it has got some sort of sex specialty also. The female has got less AC2 receptors. But these are all actually the uh, reports which are coming out right now. And this particular virus, once it enters through the AC2 receptor and then gets fused with it, and then the endosomal thing, it releases the RNA molecule. The RNA gets translated in the endoplasmic reticulum, gets glycosylated on this particular Golgi apparatus, and then it comes out of the cells and you can get the active virus particles. In general, in many other these respiratory syndromes caused by the viruses, the number of viruses needed are from 10 to 100 to make a real impact on the infection. But in case of the COVID-2, it was found only two to three viruses are to start the infection. But when this particular virus goes inside the system, if the particular system inhibits its replication process by the process of its own defense, then what happens? This particular virus cannot proliferate to that extent so that it can go to that particular level of infection. So the immunity plays a very, very important role in preventing this. So if we can prevent at that level, then it can actually could be taken care of. Next. Next slide. And this spike protein, this particular crystal structure of the spike protein is now being announced. And it is possible to find out that the spike protein has got certain areas where this particular virus can bind and recognize those sequences. And we call as this particular, the RBG domain of the virus. And this, the virus on the AC2 receptor. So AC2 receptor and the virus, Modeling has been done. Computer scientists already developed a lot of computer models to find out this interaction between the AC2 receptor and the spike protein and trying how by intervention of different molecules can prevent this interaction. So if we can actually uh, cover up this particular AC2 receptor where the virus itself binds, then the virus cannot bind to this receptor or if we can actually neutralize this particular receptor by with antibodies, which also sits on this receptor, that particular part, then also it will not that. So people are talking about the epitopes antibody, which are going to be very important in preventing or developing the vaccination. So these are all based on this. And the, after these crystal structures are possible, the computer scientists are coming up with a, in a very big way, to do the different modelings, how these interactions could be prevented. Next slide. 
Next slide, please. So uh, this is just the one which I mentioned to you about this, that in all the search, actually, we could see this AC2 is a one. But in case of the search COVID-2, it was found the interferon gamma is actually the inhibitor. But in case of search COVID, it's not yet really known. Now, it was found that for the RO, it is 0.4 only for. It gives us an idea that why it is so difficult actually to phase this particular. So the case fatality is less in case of the COVID-2 than COVID-1. And that's what what's the reason why people are thinking about that COVID-1 could be easily stopped within one year, but COVID-2 could not be. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So the SARS-CoV-2, uh, this infection can spread faster. When you look at the different strains of this SARS-CoV-2, from the Wuhan to right now what is going on in the world, well, the two scientists from National Institute of Biomedical Genetics, they actually gone through this computer, these particular sequences, did all the bioinformatics studies and classified them into the 11 groups. And out of these 11 groups, one particular group, which actually which was found that this, uh, they call it the coronavirus, 2A2, which is actually the one which is right now is very, uh, in, in India, it is very prominent. Whereas the other parts of the globe, the other viruses are there. Now, this particular information tells us about the different types of infection, what or its uh, infectivity, why it is higher in certain cases and why it's not so high in certain cases. Next slide, please. And this particular AC2 receptors interaction is one which actually helps us to go for the target cell infection for the tube. So now, when we talk about this immune system, the immune system actually is antigen presenting cells which help to detect and identify the virus. And these antigen presenting cells, they engulf the virus and display the virus peptides, which allows other immune cells to recognize the virus too. Next. So this viral peptide is also becoming very, very important. Now this virus split into basically the 11 is based on the sequences, basically into two types, the S and the S is found in 30% of patients, where the L is found in case of 70% of patients. It's mutated from the S strain, more aggressive, faster spreading, causes worse illness, and it is actually which caused the Wuhan infection. Next slide, please. So the endemic management, the pandemic management is actually to identify the containment zones, increasing the healthcare, tracing the contact of sick, pe sick people, and the antiviral medications and vaccines for treatment, which are under investigations definitely. So that's how actually the pandemic management goes. Now going next slide, please. And here, why I find that the, our knowledge in the, uh, our normal health practices with hygiene is very, very important. It could actually, be, you can see it from this, stop the spread of the germs, help prevent the spread of the respiratory disease like COVID-2. You can see, that avoid close contact with people who are sick. It, so for all the COVID warriors, it is very important right now we said that you know that two to three viruses in the aerosol to infect you is very important. So don't be in front of any particular patient for more than um, uh, five to six minutes. You have to separate yourself but the distance should always be higher. So you don't know in case of the asymptomatic patients who are also releasing the virus, but with a low, less number. So you have to keep the distance and never mix with anybody or talk to anybody for a longer period of time. The, cover your um, cuff or squeeze with a, a tissue, uh, then throw the tissue in the trap. 
Then avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. These are the open areas through which the infection can go into the system. And always clean and disinfect frequently the, uh, the different objects you touch and the different surfaces where it can stay for a longer period of time. And to do this, the best practice is that to stay home as much as possible. Never try to go out unless it is absolutely necessary. And you never go out when you are sick, except to get the medical care. Now, one, once what we have these things, you can see that you have to take, wash your hands, and all these things are coming out of the necessary right now. We know for a long period of time, in our young days in the um, hygiene books, normally we used to know that wash your hand properly, uh, cover your face while coughing, you, you have a distance between the people with whom you are uh, there. And the cause case of isolation is also if you have a patient with chickenpox or any other uh, viral infection, measles, mumps, etc. So these are there, but this practice is actually more important. And we have to follow this practice for a long period of time from now onwards. Next slide, please. Next slide. So some coronavirus that infects uh, the animals can sometimes spread to human, and it was found that this particular type of spread is also there. In fact, there is some case. It's uh, said New York Zoo. There is a and a tiger also infected with corona. So, it's, uh, but in case of the pets, it was found that not too many pets are actually uh, worldwide are infected with the virus. Next slide. So uh, the viral testing, the standard test for current infection with SARS, COVID-2 uses the RNA testing of respiratory secretion. And uh, say, for example, taking the swab collected uh, using the nasopharyngeal swab, though it actually is possible to test other samples also. And the test could be done by the real-time PCR, polymerase chain reaction. Now, because it is an RNA, what we have to do that we have to revise transcribe it to the DNA. And this particular DNA, with the help of this DNA polymerase, which can amplify this DNA, you can very small numbers of RNA in the swab could be detected by this real time PCR, which detects the presence of the viral RNA fragments in the system. Next. And this testing is actually could be done as many suspects are possible out of scope with the disease. Now, we know that Puna based MyLab Discovery Solutions, they already manufactured it. And the MyLab is the first local company which has done that. Similarly, there are IIT Delhi, which also comes out with a very important um, uh, COVID testing kit. And this is actually related with the artificial intelligence best chips. And this is uh, Tata, uh, uh, actually, sons are actually uh, are in contact with them, and Bangalore Zinia is going to produce this. In Kolkata, also, there is a company called GCC Biotech. Uh, they are also preparing some kit which has been identified, approved by ICMR. This is by the GCC Biotech, identified and uh, identified the ICMR and WHO also approved it. And you can see. All these particular kits, when coming to the system, the number of the patients, number of identify the people affected with the coronavirus, whether they're symptomatic or asymptomatic, so that we could map this uh, this putative people who may actually give rise to infection could be possible. And today, the number in Bengal also increases to quite high extent regarding this. It is almost 663 people who have been tested out of per million present. So it is less, but you can see that early it is only two per million. Next slide. So, uh, so uh, the number of test kits are, uh, uh, available, the quality of uh, test kits, capacity of testing, shortage of safety, all these things are important. There is another test kit which are also been there, which have been identifying the antibody response. So if somebody is actually affected, uh, the anti, uh, antibody is actually the immunoglobulins, 
and immunoglobulin G comes after 10 days, and immunoglobulin M comes after 12 to 13 days. And by ELISA kit, it is possible to identify that whether you have circulating antibodies or not. Now, coming back to uh, next slide, please. Our, my talk regarding the virus peptides also, it is possible to find out that there are the one particular kit, which also the ICE, um, IIGB, Indian Institute of Genome Biology, uh, another uh, Bengali guy identified one particular FNKS9 editor linked uniform uh, detection kit, which they call it as a Peluda. And this Peluda is also the one which looks at this using one of the most advanced methodology called the CRISPR Cas system and applied it to the strip to identify very easily. And the first line indicates the presence of this particular um, Cas9. And the second line indicates the suspect is corona positive. So the suspect saliva when added to this to give the Cas9 interaction. And then we can go to the second line, which in uh, positive cases. So this Peluda is also going to be very effective in our detection system. Next. Next. Next slide. So in this particular case, what I wanted to show you that patients with consistent clinical pictures and exposure to epidemic cases, there are two categories are there, yes or no. And the ES cases, it's usually you can go through and do all the different types of medications and do the work. But the, generally, the problem is with the asymptomatic patients, the normal diagnostics and therapeutics management of lower respiratory tract infections, and their negative PCR for 2019, uh, this new corona. And uh, then only it, it gives rise to very, very difficult situation. The exposure to these epidemic areas or contact with a known case of coronavirus infection within the previous 14 days are actually very, very important. So people have to go for quarantine for at least for 14 days for its expression that you are actually not affected with coronavirus. Next slide. Now, the finding the cure is one of the major challenges. And there I can mention to you, our system, the nature also gives us a defense system, what is the immune system, I mentioned to you the antigen presenting cells, which actually display the virus peptides and the T helper cells that latch onto the viral peptides that have been flagged by the antigen presenting cells and help activate other immune cells like the B cells and the cytotoxic cells. And these B cells produce the antibodies that help prevent the virus from infecting cells. And the cytotoxic T cells, they identify and destroy the infected cells. The B cells give rise to the long lived memory, and T cells that recognize the virus can patrol the body for months or years, providing the immunity. So these are the different ways we are talking about with our own immune system. So if you keep yourself healthy, if you who actually uh, through all the different hygienes, you can. Uh, we have to wait for the vaccines because the vaccines are different types. So there are different types of vaccines. It can be the virus itself, the inactivated or the weakened virus vaccine. It can be the nucleic acid vaccine. It can be vaccines with viral vectors, what we call as a replicating or non-replicating vaccines. And the last one, what we call as a protein-based vaccines the protein subunits or virus-like particles used as vaccines. The different labs in different parts of the globe are trying with all these things. Next. Next. So this projected timeline for treatment, as I mentioned to you, is actually give rise to the 66 program working on three different approaches. One is a Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. It's, uh, it's okay. You can hear. Hello. Yeah, it's now okay. Okay. Right. It's now okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So we have the repurposed drugs. There are seven are on trial. There are sixteen antibodies on trial. There are three vaccines purposes are there. 
So people are actually looking at these antibodies which are on trial uh, at the phase one or two, and the vaccines are on trial for phase one and followed by the phase two, three. But what we can say that earlier, this takes a long, long period. In this case, it has been taken much less time because the science has moved, the technology has moved, so it will be easier. But vaccine, preparation of the vaccine is not actually sufficient. In certain cases, at least 18 months are needed to get the efficacy of the vaccine, whether it is working properly or not, to understand. So we are not sure that when the real vaccine will come. The first vaccine we are expecting in the end of this year, we have to see that how it's going to affect the system itself. The Oxford vaccine already on the animals, our voracious monkey, found to be very, very positive, but still we have to wait for the final trial and can say human. But it's very good that at least many, many human volunteers are coming to actually be tested for this vaccine. Next one. Next one. So the uh, vaccine development time is uh, what I'm telling, to, uh, telling you, that there is minimum of 16, 6 to 18 months or maybe longer. And there actually what we could see that long uh, earlier it was found that weakened vax virus could be used as vaccine. The weakened virus which could be used as virus uh, as vaccines has got uh, several other things like that the virus when injected can still elicit an immune response without causing in, uh, illness. Whereas the inactivated virus, they are made inactivation by heat or chemicals are still capable of initiating the infection. And it is found that a collaboration between an US-based photogenics and Serum Institute of India is changing, actually the, the weakening the, vac the coronavirus and using that for developing a vaccine. But whereas there are negative uh, impact of this type of vaccines also, uh, because you need a stringent safety testing, inactivated virus vaccine requires large quantities of the virus, which is very difficult to get. On the other hand, the around 25 teams are working on viral vector vaccine. And these viral vectors can be the replicating viral vector, which is actually used with a weakened virus and allows them to replicate in the system to give the strong immune response. Or the non-replicating viral vector, the virus content in this type does not replicate, but they have the cells which are actually being deactivated. This has been done in case of the Ebola, Ebola vaccine is a virus vector. So, and any sort of existing immunity to the viral vector actually going to be very, very negative effect of this as a vaccine. So even the vaccine comes out, we have to understand that what is going to affect to the population itself. In population, there may be someone who are very, very sensitive with it. The next is the nucleic acid vaccines. There are two types, one is DNA-based vaccine and the RNA-based vaccines. And the RNA vaccines is encased in a lipid coat so that it can enter the human cells to produce the copies of the virus. Nucleic acid-based vaccines are safer, but we need the adjustment to induce a stronger immune response. So far, there is no information that uh, any successful nucleic acid vaccine being a trial for this particular coronavirus too. Well, the protein-based vaccines are one which has been tried by many, many people already. As I mentioned to you that um, the uh, Oxford one and US and the Chinese, in all these cases, either the antibody, which is actually being um, uh, recognize the recept receptor interaction and actually neutralizing antibodies, which neutralizes the incoming viruses and will not allow the virus to grow in trial for many cases. Next. Next. Next slide. And that's how we could see the one which I, I mentioned to you that the AC2 receptor, all the spike proteins can also be priming by the cellular cellular proteases or the neutralization uh, efficiency of the source convalescent serum, what we call as right now, people also are trying as a plasma therapy. But plasma therapy is an immediate one. This cannot be because with respect to the plasma, there will be many, many re reaction also. But right 
right now this is one method next next one and this is actually how we could see that there are viral molecules which are also being uh, reported which new, uh, which actually blocks the spike protein like the camostat namo namostat or the RHAC2, which inhibits the uh, AC2 receptor. Then we have the chloroquine, which actually blocks the endosomal acidification and will not allow the RNA to come out. The hydroxychloroquine and, and uh, this azithromycin, it will inhibit the uncoating of this particular virus. Next. Which it renders beer of favipiravir which are also the drugs against the, uh, the, in other cases, uh, other infections uh, can be used for this particular uh, virus also. Uh, leprosy is being used. So the re repurposing of the existing drugs in another way to fight with the whole thing. And the people are trying by repurposing this and looking at this is a table which shows the existing drugs with therapeutic potentials for COVID-19 and people are trying with this, all these particular drugs and looking at its potential. Next, this we call as a repurposing. And the drug development is actually the one which takes a quite a huge amount of time, but people are trying with it with respect to the different level and they are trying to see whether <coughs> COVID-2 specific drugs, antiviral molecules could be developed or not. So we have to wait for that one also. And here actually people are looking at it from a very, very um, computer-based drug designing molecules. Next. Next. So the vaccine development, the first human trial was announced already in Oxford, I mentioned to you. It has already been in the process. The pharmaceutical giants Sanofi and GSK have teamed up to develop a vaccine. Australian scientists have begun injecting parasites with the potential vaccines. No one knows how effective of any one of these. And right now, the ICMR with the different uh, institutes in India, they are also aiming to devise the vaccines. Next. Next. And there are, as I mentioned to you, I can go, uh, I can skip this particular one. Next, next one, next one, please. So the thing what we have to always remember, what we should not do, the COVID stigma. We should not have any racial stigma, blaming a particular community for the current situation. We should also be cautious about violence against the health workers. It is very, very unfortunate that even in this time of time, the nurses, all the uh, who are actually dealing under these conditions with the uh, COVID patients, the people in the locality are not allowing them to come back to home, whereas they should actually react differently. And we have to get out of the affected individuals are facing social stigma. A person with COVID-19 looks like they are non-untouchable. All these things, we have to get come out. So being kind to the affected individuals, depend on the facts and not the rumors. Spread awareness regarding the do's and don'ts. And always try to respect the health workers and do and be respectful to them. So digital healthcare to the people who are still very, very um, nervous about the whole COVID-19 thing. Next. Next. And so I just want to say that we always think about the heroes who are working. The huge thanks to the health workers on the front line of the COVID coronavirus pandemic with this. I thank you all for your patience here. Thank you very much. I try to answer most of the questions but if there are few, you can write me the email and I shall answer those questions back as the time is on, over. Thank you very much. Thank you, the JBNSTS, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Dhruvada.
Thank you. আমার মনে হয় আমাদের স্কলারদের সবার ভালো লেগেছে আমরা একটা টোটাল ভিউ পেয়েছি পুরো আমরা কিভাবে কোথা থেকে এলো থেকে শুরু করে এখন পর্যন্ত আমরা এই রিসার্চের কোন জায়গাটায় আছি Yes, I try to do that actually because every day we are getting new news, new concepts, new things which is also very important for us to look at the thing as a, a huge understanding of our knowledge. And the excellent slides, uh, the slides to the Jilu Bani, it's an Oshadharan slide at the informant. It's going to be with Obijit if anybody wants to have a look at it, please share with them. And I, I shall really appreciate it. Still, there is some certain questions. resolved email Yes, uh, the uh, session now might be kept open for some time. We can take some short questions. And uh, I can see, please raise your hand if you want to uh, ask any questions. And I can see uh, Ravi. Ravi, uh, are you willing to ask any question now? I should unmute, unmute the microphone then. Yes, Ravi. No, my query has, my queries has been resumed. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else in, anyone else in the, yeah. Paramita. Yeah. Please carry on. I have unmuted. I have unmuted. Yes. Yes, Paramita. Yeah. Paramita to mute. Okay. Ah. Now, you need to unmute. Kora thoda chena var. Please. Paramita, the unmute korun. Shunte pas chena to. Paramita. Yes. Yes, now you you too. Both. Vishun Bhaglo are Vishun self explanatory slides. Gulo, Kubi Bhalo Laglo, thank you. Are um, Drugoda, I wanted to ask Akun America, the Bacha did Jinisha Goche, Goto Shadim Gurjeta Dakajace. Yes. Uh, how is that linked and uh, is that also a serious threat now? Is it something mm -hmm. that is falling from the COVID? I don't know. Last seven days, we have to do the last seven days. It is a very good thing. It is a very good thing. It is a very good thing. It is a very Hello, hello. Please hand to a place. Basically, it's a little bit of 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 uh, but they are ultimately not affected by this particular respiratory syndrome attack. So, so for whoever patient has been identified as um, Did you see my microphone both I echo out of that time? Yeah, he's back again. Please add it for volume should the party. I think that a তারা বেশিরভাগই তাদের স্টুলের মধ্যে দিয়ে বা ভাইরাস থেকে देयर মানে আর কি শেডিং ইট আউট অফ देयर বডি এন্ড দে আর নট বিং ইফেক্টেড উইথ দা রেস্পিরেটরি ট্র্যাক্ট সিম্পটমস Rash Biruchi, America, the Bachagulu, Rash Biruchi, Gurun Atno Bachuri Bachara. A rash taki. Yeah, these are all actually the inflammatory response. During this particular period Achha. of time in US, there are several in normal cases also. This is a period of time when the people has got a lot of allergic symptoms. 
Okay, anyone else? Is there any other questions? Dipankar wish to okay on just a minute. Dipankar is yeah, Dipankar, carry on. <laughs> क्षेत्र <laughs> भाईरसार মানে তাহলে কি স্যার ওদের শরীরে এমন কোন ইমিউন সিস্টেম আছে যেটা এই করোনা ভাইরাসটা এফেক্ট করতে পারছে না দা ইমিউন সিস্টেম ইজ देयर টু অ্যাকচুয়ালি নিউট্রালাইজ দিস পার্টিকুলার ভাইরাস হ্যাঁ সেই সেই পার্টিকুলার ইমিউন সিস্টেমটাকে কি রেপ্লিকেট করে হিউম্যান বডিতে আনা যায় না মানে অ্যাজ দে আর সাসটেইনেবল টু দিস ভাইরাস দ্যাট ক্যান ইট বি রেপ্লিকেটেড টু হিউম্যান আর সামহাউ দা পার্টিকুলার ভাইরাস সিকোয়েন্স হ্যাজ বিন ফাইন্ড আউট ওভার देयर these particular virus system these particular things are not similar in our cases the acha hello thank you protein, spike protein spike protein interact korte ac2 receptor er shonge ei ta jodi kono bhabe na kore tahole to byapar ta hobe na acha acha onno kichu tru de hok oder je sequence shetai ei dhoroner ac2 er moto onno je receptor tader body te ache चोखेट कर रखते In fact, I believe at least sixty to seventy percent of us are actually asymptomatic. If test that, we are going to be positive. अच्छा, आरेक तो सर, आरेक तो प्रश्न जो धुरुन सर effected बोलो, हाँ, ये बार जो भी हमारा regular और precaution तो निजाबन gargle कोड़ा, बार regular interval में गर्म जल खावा, बार लेबु मने कुनो toxic मने आमदे जो कुम toxinish खावा, इधर regular interval में हमारा कोटे था कि ताले कि हमारा इधर से के sustainable होते पड़ी मने थार्टीटे लिमिट द Okay. 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 Four to five years to think about. We have to live with this coronavirus, but not to worry. We will face it because if we keep the basic hygiene and everything with us. Okay. Five months and four to five years. Yeah. So that you will in four to five months. Four to five months. Because. Uh, 
শোনা যায় যে ইনফ্লুয়েঞ্জা যেটা স্প্যানিশ ফ্লু হয়েছিল প্রায় আড়াই বছর ধরে ওটা ছিল যেটা কিনা মানে এই মিউটেশনটাকে অনেক কমিয়ে রাখে নিউক্লিয়োটাইট সাবস্টিউশন করে দিতে পারে কিন্তু যেহেতু রেপ্লিকেশন রেটটা ভেরি হাই সেহেতু সেইটা থাকা সত্ত্বেও আমরা এটার মধ্যে অনেক মিউটেশন খুঁজে পাচ্ছি কিন্তু এই এরার প্রণ এই এই যে ব্যাপারটা থ্রি ফাইভ ফাইভ টাইম রাইবো নিউক্লিয়াস না থাকলে এটার মিউটেবিলিটিটা আরো অনেক বেশি হতো আর আপনি যেটা একটা বললেন না যে কোন অ্যাসিম্পটোম্যাটিক হয়ে যাবে এটা হচ্ছে গিয়ে তখনই সে যখন তার ইমিউন ফ্যাক্টরটা ইজ এনাফ to lower down the re- uh, replication of the bio system either complete kore debe kimba lower kore debe ekhon je moto lower kore debe seta symptoms ta ke aste debe na ebong asha se virus ke virus to ta ekta living cell er dorkar to replicate jodi replicate na korte pare seto normal course e seta uh, washed out hoye jabe <laughs> ইউরোপ ইটালি তে হচ্ছিল তখন আমরা ভাবছিলাম যে আমাদের এখানে গরম দেশ ক্রমে গরম পড়ছে এবারে হয়তো আমরা বেঁচে যাব এবারে আমি ফলো আপ করছি দীপঙ্করের প্রশ্নের সাথেই দীপঙ্কর যে বলছে যে গরম জল খাবো বা হোয়াট এভার মানে এটাতে কি কোনো লাভ এট অল হবে মানে গরম তাহলে কি আইসক্রিম খেলে আমার বেশি চান্স আছে এটা হবার না 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 নট ফর দ্যাট व्हाट व्हाट ही सेड दैट नॉर्मली इनफ्लुएंस আমাদের গলা ব্যথা হলে আমরা কি করি গলগুল করি এই জিনিসগুলো ঠান্ডা জলে ঠান্ডা লাগার স্কোপটা বেশি এই ঠান্ডা লাগার স্কোপটা বেশি হওয়া মানে এটা কি আমার ইমিউন সিস্টেমটা কিছুটা করে আমরা উইক করে দিচ্ছি এবং ইমিউন সিস্টেম উইক হলে অ্যাসিম্পটোম্যাটিক হই আমরা সিম্পটোম্যাটিক হয়ে যাব সো এইগুলো হচ্ছে কি আমাদের নিজেদের প্রিকশন হিসেবে নেওয়া আমি হয় না অনেকে আছে যে আইসক্রিম খেলেই সর্দি লেগে যায় সর্দি লাগা মানে তার একটা ইমিউন সিস্টেমের একটা অসুবিধা হলো তাহলে তার ক্ষেত্রে ক্লাইমেটিক তার হয়ে যাবে একজনের প্রশ্ন ছিল যে ম্যাথামেটিশিয়ান হিসেবে আমার কি রোল হতে পারে আর কি ইন দিস ইউ নো দ্যাট দ্য মেজর টু মডেল ম্যাথামেটিক্যাল মডেল টু ক্যালকুলেট দ্যাট বেন দিস করোনা ভাইরাস উইল গো অফ one is actually the ai mediated mathematical model done by the singapore scientist another Sanjay. was done by the iiscr kolkata somehow my connection hello 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 ha bolun bolun দেখা গেছে যে আমরা যদি এই জিনিসগুলোকে কন্ট্রোল করতে পারি Uh, he has gone out of contact maybe obik 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 please carry on 
আমার কোশ্চেন আছে বলতে পারি হয়েছিল বেশ কিছু পেশেন্টের ক্ষেত্রে এবং তারপরে যেটা দেখা গেছে সেটা হচ্ছে যে একদম ফার্স্ট ইনফেকশনটা তাদের ফুল ব্লুম হয়নি ফলেছেন তারপরেছিল <laughs> কিন্তু এই সমস্ত ছোট দেশ যেখানে পপুলেশন কম সেখানে একটা পার্টিকুলার পিরিয়ড এর পরে হার্ড ইমিউনিটিটা ডেভেলপ করে যাবে আর কি আর অন্য দিক থেকে অ্যাওয়ারনেসটা অনেকটা স্ট্রংগার হয়ে যাবে আমেরিকাতে যেটা হয়ে গেছে সেই আমেরিকাতে এদের এদের পার্টিকুলারলি এদের অনেক বেশি হায়ার হওয়ার কারণটাই হচ্ছে যে এদের ইন জেনারেল প্র্যাকটিস ইন জেনারেল যে প্র্যাকটিস গুলোর সঙ্গে এটা অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড এটা মানে আর কি কিছুতেই সেটাকে কন্ট্রোল করতে পারছে না আর কি এবং সেইটাকে কন্ট্রোল না করতে পারার ফলে এই যে মিক্সিং এর যে ব্যাপারটা সেইটা কিন্তু একটা র্যান্ডম হয়ে গেছে এবং সেই জন্য আমেরিকাতে এটাকে কন্ট্রোল করাটা একটু ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট হয়ে পড়েছে কিন্তু ধরা যাক নিউ ইয়র্ক নিউ ইয়র্ক কিন্তু এখন একটা বিশাল এমন একটা জায়গা অনেকখানে ওরা কন্ট্রোল করে ফেলতে পেরেছে অন্য দিক থেকে বেশ অন্য কয়েকটা জায়গায় এটা বাড়তে থাকছে সুতরাং এই হুল জায়গাটা আবার আমাদের প্র্যাকটিস যেটা আমরা প্র্যাকটিস করছি যেটা এখানে আমরা ভীষণ ভাবে প্রথম থেকেই বলে দিচ্ছি সোশ্যাল ডিস্টেন্সিং ফিজিক্যাল ডিস্টেন্সিং স্টে অ্যাট হোম ডোন্ট গো আউটসাইড প্র্যাকটিস সার্টেন থিংস এই জিনিসগুলো হাইজিনের কয়েকটা জিনিস ওরা প্র্যাকটিস করলে অন্য জিনিসগুলো এরা কখনো প্র্যাকটিস করেনি স্যার এই ক্লাস আচ্ছা আর একটা কোশ্চেন হচ্ছে যে আমরা <laughs> 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 যেটা <laughs> সেটা অনেক বেশি পরিমানে তৈরি করে 
তবে সেটা ভ্যাকসিন হিসেবে আমরা ইউজ করতে পারবো এবং এই ধরনের ভ্যাকসিন গুলো ওয়ান ইজ বাই হাইব্রিডোমা টেকনিক মোনোক্লোনাল তৈরি করার চেষ্টা করেছি আর আরেকটা হচ্ছে চাইনিজ এবং অক্সফোর্ড এবং এরার যেটা করে দিয়েছে যে বিভিন্ন ধরনের প্রোটিন বেসড ভ্যাকসিন সেটাকে আমরা বলছি অ্যান্টিবডি ভ্যাকসিন এর ক্ষেত্রে আমরা এটাকে বাইরে তৈরি করছি উইচ ইজ নাথিং বা হোয়াট ইজ সার্কুলেটিং ইন आवर প্লাজমা অফ দা কনভালেসেন্ট پیشنট আমার স্যার একটা প্রশ্ন আছে यस পিজু হ্যাঁ স্যার পিজু বলছি স্যার বলছি যে করোনা ভাইরাসটা তো ফ্লু এর মতো একটা সেগমেন্টেড আরএনএ আছে ওদের निजस्विजम कम्पिटिशन <laughs> जन्न हाथ तुलश्चन अटकाते डाक्टर 
चले गल सर हमारे एक क्वेश्चन चलो सर बोल ची इंडिया की माने फाइनेंस रेज़े पहुँचे गए थे ना एक उन्हों आड़ो पढ़ते पड़े हेडिंग यूरोप इंडिया अनेक आगे ही एकान एक टा राष्ट्रनार फले इन जनरल पापुलेशन एंड मुद्दे इच्छा के डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन होते नाम कर पड़े अकोन जेटा हमरा देख के आरो हायर इट इज़ बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द माइग्रेटरी वन हुम वी आर अलाउविंग नाउ टू गो बैक टू देयर ओन प्लेसेस दे आर कैरिंग सम एंड वी आर गेटिंग दिस एंड द But in general, if you look at majority of the Indian cities or Indian uh, districts are actually not reporting any cases. Okay. Sir, our next question is. Yes. Balu. Bolchi, the air pollution ki aaja the virus jis bhi outspread pori, tar pori puro bondo hai jada chhara no air pollution ki. I mean, ah, see, virus ka out. इनफेक्शन शेखाने प्रोटेक्शन टा थ्रू द एंटीबॉडी म्यूनिटी आल्सो इंक्रीज क्वाइट अ बिट इन जनरल म्यूनिटी जारा की ना कॉम्प्रोमाइज्ड इम्यूनिटी इन द डेवलप्ड नेशन जारा अफेक्टेड हुए चीज़ बंग चोले गए थे इसी बारे में मॉब मॉर्टेलिटी रेट आम रे देखे थे कि दे चार शॉट का मॉर्टेलिटी रेट Onob, onob, carry on. 
जैगरिया मडल डिजाइनिंग and we are now working with the covid 2 also as ornop said uh, that uh, there are several types of this covid uh, but uh, whether a unique vaccine will be worked on it or not because yeah. for that uh, we are working we are finding the conserved region of that virus so uh, suppose it is in envelope protein some portions are con- conserved there so if we target the that peptide zones which are conserved that will be effective for all classes And then second thing, my question is uh, to Dhubada that uh, hello that is going to be effective because envelope or unknown region to the hello that is not going to be effective. Envelope or unknown region ta jo the interaction involved na hai, that the virus. Ah, ek microphone jis tarah lok karo ek jane. जैसे फेल रखते खूब कम मैं मैथमेटिकल मडल मिउटेडेड हम मैं 
Yes, yes, that's what we said that Wuhan strain is an O strain, but the United strain is completely different and they're in fact. मार्जिन इनफेक्ट uh others map we are asymptomatic that we are, we are not patient actually asymptomatic people yes, sir, i'm sorry the most dangerous because they shed virus at a great and this low number of virus which can infect another person and if he is immunocompromised immune system is a little bit weaker then that will going to be a symptomatic case so this carry on for a longer period of time but you know that this asymptomatic patients they cannot actually remain asymptomatic for a very long period of time as the system stay and start to have antibodies which will need a particular virus that rise to something what we call as that normal okay. मेजरमेंटारिटर uh, दूरकम এটা যে কোন ফরেন পার্টিকেল আমাদের বডিতে ঢুকে তার এগেইনস্টে এট রিঅ্যাক্ট করে আর আরেকটা প্যাসিভ ইমিউনিটি দিস পার্টিকুলার অ্যাকটিভ ইমিউনিটি অ্যাডাপটিভ ইমিউনিটি এটা টি সেল এর টু দি বি সেল যেটা বলা হয় বি সেল আর টি টক্সিক সেল যেটা টু দি ওকে তৈরি করতে পারে এগুলো একটা অস্টিকে অ্যাকিং ধরনে অ্যাকচুয়ালি গিভ রাইজ টু দা রেসপন্স টু দ্য সিস্টেম সো ইন দি টু দ্যাট ইট ইজ নো প্যারামিটার Whether you are susceptible to immunity or not, you, it is possible to do that with respect to a test, what we call oh. as the allergy testing. Our body data test is done. Because that, we are not sure about it. 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 In general, our immune system is how it works. मारा 
সেটা আবার খারাপ সেই জন্য এভিডেন্সিং সিস্টেম ইন জেনারেল আমরা কোন লেভেলে আছি সেটা মেজার করা যায় আইজিজি আইজিএম এর জেনারেল লেভেলটা থেকে কিন্তু আমরা কখনোই বলতে পারবো না যে ব্যাডার দ্যাট ইজ গোইং অফ ইজ আ লেভেল উইচ উইল হেল্প টু প্রিভেন্ট করোনা ও স্যার আমার আরেকটা क्वेश्चन আছে স্যার হ্যালো डिजीज yeah uh, if you said that that's the reason why i mentioned that i'm not sure that two to five years we have to deal with this particular virus hello even the vaccine big it is all uh, sir i mean devopom devopom da kichu ekta शन মানে কোন ভ্যাকসিনই সেটা এসিওর করতে পারে না এনসিওর করতে পারবে না ইট ক্যান মানে আমরা সবচেয়ে বলি কতটা হেল্প করবে 70% লোকের এটা কাজে লাগে তাহলে আমরা বলবো বড় কাজ করি আচ্ছা আচ্ছা মানে সেটা কি সব সময় চিরদিনই সব ভ্যাকসিন যে কোন ভ্যাকসিনেই তাই আচ্ছা ভাইরাস গুলোর ক্ষেত্রে সব সময় স্মল পক্স চিকেন পক্স এগুলো এরা ডিটেক্ট করে ভাইরাস তাই এটা নয় शरीफे মানে আমাদের মানে অন্যান্য যেমন আরএনএ স্ট্রেন্ড ভাইরাসেস আরএনএ স্ট্রেন্ডগুলো আমাদের নিউক্লিয়াসে গিয়ে বা নিউক্লিয়াইতে গিয়ে রিঅ্যাকশন করে তারপর রেপ্লিকেশন শুরু করে এরা বোধহয় আমাদের এক্সটারনাল মানে এন্ডোপ্লাজমিক রেটিকুলামে গিয়ে এরা মানে রেপ্লিকেশনটা শুরু করতে পারে ইফ আই এম নট রং না তো তো আপনি যদি এই ব্যাপারে একটা ছবি দেখালাম সেটা যদি এটা মনে রাখতে পারতে তাহলে সুবিধা হতো সেটা হলো এন্ডোজম থেকে আরএনএটা রিলিজ করে দিচ্ছে এবং জেমো জেমোতে এটা সাইটোপ্লাজমে আরএনএ টা রিলিজ করে দিতে সঙ্গে সঙ্গে সেটা কি করে না সেটা এন্ডোপ্লাজমিক রেটিকুলামে গিয়ে তার প্রোটিন গুলো তৈরি করে যে প্রোটিন গুলো আবার সাইটোপ্লাজমেই আরএনএ তৈরি করে ছেড়ে দিচ্ছে এটা নিউ যেতে হয় না আর কি কিন্তু সব ভাইরাসের ক্ষেত্রে অনেক ভাইরাসের ক্ষেত্রে তাদের নিউক্লিয়াসে ঢুকতে হয় না এনএ ভাইরাস গুলোর ক্ষেত্রে অনেক ভাইরাসে ঢুকতে হয় এবং ভাইরাসের ক্ষেত্রে নিউক্লিয়াসে ঢুকতে হয় তো সব ভাইরাস ঢুকতে হয় না কিন্তু আমরা বলি কিছু কিছু ভাইরাস লাইফ সাইকেল হচ্ছে যে নিউক্লিয়াস ছাড়া সেলগুলো তো হতে পারে আর কিছু কিছু ভাইরাস আছে না অ্যাবসলিউট নিউক্লিয়াস নেসেসারি এন্ডোপ্লাজমিক রেটিকুলাম ইজ নট এ সাইট ফর রেপ্লিকেশন ইট ইজ এ সাইট ফর প্রোটিন সিনথেসিস সিনথেসিস স্যার আমার একটা প্রশ্ন আছে ঠিক হ্যালো थैंक यू थैंक यू হ্যালো হ্যাঁ পিজি স্যার আমার একটা প্রশ্ন আছে স্যার बोले <laughs> Yes, 
टार्गेट करते हैं ड्रग <laughs> 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 But okay, what you said is right. Yes, whatever design we have to make, we have to make a, as for that particular region only. Okay, sir. Arakta, jeta hydroxychloroquine uh, mechanism of action ta hai. So zinc ion sir ki role achhe exactly? Ita shopte hi hote ke oi khan ka je releasing factor ta, she factor ta help kore. For the deacidification or increase in the pH of the yeah. endosome. Endosome. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Endosome में pH बेरे के लिए आर आर एन ए टाके वो आर एन ए को भी निलिस करते पा रहे ना. Okay sir. Okay sir. Thank you sir. All right. हमारे चार शेष हैं. हैं. Question जी. Last जी को शुरू करते पड़े. कोडी. हाँ. एक मिनट आया था. Question जी तो आया था. प्रश्न आया थे. चेस्टा So, खेले <laughs> ওরা হাই রিস্ক তো डेफिनेटলি হাই পপুলেশন প্রবলেম সুবিধা হচ্ছে ওদের সাইটোকাইন স্ট্রং হবে না ওরা ভুগ দে কিন্তু মরবে না थैंक यू सर थैंक यू देवपन थैंक यू তাহলে আমরা শেষ করি নাকি ধুবদার কোন চার্জ বন্ধ হয়ে যাবে বলছেন যে কোন সময় একদম জিরো হয়ে আসছে ওকে थैंक यू टू ग्राम और मुझे आज का मने भीषण एनरिचिंग डिस्कशन हुए थे भीषण अमादे शॉपर बुध है खूब भालू लगे थे थैंक यू थैंक यू टू ग्राम थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर ओके सो मच सर तो जी अमादे आरो कारो कोने क्वेश्चन था के वी कैन सेंड ईमेल टू पापा तो जो जति चार्ट पास है एक्जेक्टली Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for participating, and we hope that we'll be uh, in the platform again. And I, 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 I have to tell that uh, all the participants will get their participation certificate from our website one week later. Uh, an online system has been developed from which you will get your participation to be delivered to your email address on which you have got registered here for the. Uh, participating in this uh, seminar amader website e dekhbe you will get the link and you can get it yeah thank you
হ্যালো ইন্ডিয়া passing the disease uh, is possible is it possible is exactly or not in case of covid it's possible because we are shading i am asymptomatic but i am shading the virus. but the number of virus is much less and the possibility of that virus to reach another person is also going down yes sir yeah okay Thank you so much. We are concluding the webinar. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.